So somehow it's already February and that means channel update time. So now we're going to talk about my personal situation, about the new snapshot format, about series in general and about Triple H in specific, and about what's coming up this month. And then of course we'll be talking about how the channel is doing and I'll be talking a little bit about some changes for supporters of the channel. But I wanted to start today with my personal situation because it has quite a lot of bearing on the rest of everything. As a metaphor for how things are going, let me tell you about my day today. I uh, sat down in front of my computer this morning to start making uh, this video. But instead, as I was putting a bottle of uh, Pepsi Max away, I knocked over the glass that I just poured uh, into my keyboard. <laughs> The keyboard in question is a Logitech G19, which is no longer in production. And it's a keyboard I've loved for a long time, not for its gimmick, the built-in screen, but rather for it being a very solid keyboard, but also a relatively silent one, which is great for recording and streaming. Anyway, after a bit of panic trying to disconnect as much as possible, as quickly as possible, and then more than an hour of meticulously taking the keyboard apart and cleaning it as much as possible, I've now left it to dry. I've switched to a backup keyboard, which I have. It's the Logitech G105, which is a pretty similar keyboard that I bought thinking it might be kind of like the G19, but without the silly screen. It's sort of similar but it is also louder to type on. Anyway, hopefully the G19 survives and the increase in noise while I record won't be too noticeable while I still have the backup keyboard in. Anyway, you might recall that this year started with something else going wrong for me. I cut my finger while preparing New Year's dinner and ended up not being able to do much in the ways of computer use for a while to let it heal properly. Now a bit of a warning here, if you don't like images of small wounds you might want to look away because I wanted to show you some of how this has progressed. The finger is pretty much healed up now with only a slight scar visible. I am still a bit more sensitive in that spot than others, but overall I have no problems using the finger, which is great. Still, that'll stand as a metaphor for how my year has started, with things not going exactly as planned. Last channel update I talked about how uh, I had started trying to get into shape again. As soon as my finger was good enough to do so, I got back onto that. Started by building up my cardio back up from the miserable state I was in. With the exception of the break for the finger healing, that has been going well. I also mentioned that I wasn't caring about getting back to a more decent weight again to begin with. That, however, got thrown out the window when, just a few days after my last channel update, it became apparent that I was about to hit a new personal worst in weight gain. So, this month has been incredibly strict with my diet and working out basically every day that I have the opportunity. Now, that might seem like a plus, and it is. I've been getting some really good results, I feel better than I have been in a long while, and even more important, I can feel the strength in my back slowly coming back after the accident at the beginning of last year. It is, however, taking a lot of time. If I take an hour to work out on a workday evening, then that eats significantly into my video production time, and even beyond that, it makes me exhausted, and as a result, I've needed more sleep than I usually do. Add to this that we have had quite the dumping of snow several times this winter, which has meant that I've spent hours and hours shoveling up snow in piles that are now taller than I am, which also took a lot of time that I had planned to do other things with. So all of this kind of threw my plans for the channel into a bit of disarray. I had intended to get some more stuff done, but instead I prioritized myself and my health. Uh, I do apologize for the lower output, but I won't apologize for making that my priority. I had hoped to get more editing done last month, especially with wanting to bring back the Custom Worlds tutorials, but I can't apologize for prioritizing my health. So let's get into what effect that has had on the running things on the channel and other changes that are going on. First, I switched up the snapshot video format for this year. The initial idea was simple, 
I hypothesized that a significant portion of my audience are not interested in technical changes. And that a significant portion of the ones who are interested in technical changes do not need the warnings and info at the end of the videos. So, the idea came to mind to split the contents into two videos. Some rather unexpected things came out of this. One immediate consequence is that I can publish the main videos faster, because I don't need to complete the technical part first, which is good, because as you know, there's a bit of a rush when it comes to news videos. However, it also had an unexpected secondary effect. I no longer feel as stressed trying to rush through the technical changes to push the video out. Which means I started taking yeah, a tiny bit more extra time and care here and there to make explanatory shots or overlays for the various bits involved. And in my mind, this has led to an increasing quality of the technical videos. And it seems many of you agree. Now note here that this wasn't really the primary purpose. It just kind of happened as a result of the split. I've asked for feedback about this, both in the videos themselves and in a separate community page poll, and we've got very good input from those of you who both who liked the change and those of you who liked the previous setup. In the end, I've decided to keep the video split. It seems like that's what the majority of you prefer, and after working like this for a few snapshots now, it's also what I prefer myself. Let's talk about other series. In particular, let's talk about Triple H. It's been quite a wild ride, but with the last video from Season 4 up, that is the end of regular Triple H content on the channel for now. I might get back into running it on streams, there is still one remaining video I want to make about another start Triple H runs I did, but for now there won't be any regular series running. And that means maybe this is a good point in time to have a look back at it. I got the idea for Triple H at least a year before I started running it. I think maybe two. At the time, I thought it would be my new challenge series, replacing the likes of Hot Bar Survival and Glass Core. But there was a problem. The replay mod had stopped updating. So I waited and waited for that, eventually asking all of you what to do, and deciding to run it as a stream series with edited videos. And so began Triple H. It was an instant hit on Twitch, and it did really well on the channel as well. Over time, it became apparent that keeping up with the video editing was really tough, and they fell behind. And that was kind of the state for a very long time. I was basically the only one playing it. Fast forward quite a ways to a situation where Season 3 had ended. I decided to not start another regular season since the videos were so far behind, and honestly, really feeling like I needed something a bit different. So instead, we did another start Triple H. Somewhere around that time it started to spread. Uh, Thomas to Space was one of the first others to pick it up, and with 1.16 it became significantly easier to set up, and eventually I could just make a data pack for easily getting it going. Still, with the two of us running it, we still hadn't finished the challenge, and we kept dying and losing worlds after a huge time investment. And so Thomas basically posed the question of, what if we don't really build up safety? What if we just go for the dragon right away? And that led to what became season 4 and the first ever kill. Now Thomas was soon to follow and given that this was now a speedrun quote unquote, other speedrunners started taking notice. Thunderful was one of the first speedrunners who picked it up and then it spread further from there. And that leads us to today, where Triple H has actually become a recognized category with its own leaderboard on speedrun.com and others like a Twitch streamer named Bruno Dan Uy playing it like a long-term challenge and getting the first wither kill. For me, Triple H has been in decline for a bit. The videos do worse and worse and I really can't motivate the time investments in making them anymore given that they get less than half of the views of a legacy video. My worst performing videos by far. Still, if the result of my adventure is that a brand new challenge has spread in popularity, that is reward enough for me. So, what replaces Triple H? Well, nothing actually. <laughs> when I joined Legacy, I did so knowing that there wasn't enough time for that content in my schedule, and really, I do need to claw that back. 
Maybe we'll get into new challenges on the YouTube channel at some point, but for now, I need more focus. And that will free up more time for other things, like the custom world tutorials, but also like other random videos like one-off tutorials that I have ideas for for a long time now. Another thing that fell off the table with my life taking some more time was the supporter Q&A for the start of the year. I'll try to get a post up for that as soon as possible, so if you want a chance to ask me questions for it and see the exclusive Q&A video, join in on Patreon, click the join button on YouTube to become a channel member, or subscribe to me on Twitch. Another perk of being a supporter has been to name my items. And that has been a lot of fun, and I definitely want to keep doing it. But one thing that makes me sad is how the selection is always on who has been around the longest as a supporter, and some really great item names get skipped because of that. It also puts a really heavy emphasis on streams and whoever happens to be around of the time, which isn't great. So what I've decided to do is change how names get selected. I've been working on an improvement for LimeBot, my Discord bot, to let supporters suggest names for any item that I choose to make available for naming. Then, when I'm ready to actually name the item, I'll pick a name out of the list based on which name I think is the most fun. I hope to have this change done reasonably soon, and I've also been working a fair bit on improving LimeBot's ability to automate things for me, like posting to social media and such when a new video is out, so that I don't need to do as much work manually for each video. And that means a bunch of work now, but will significantly reduce the amount of work I need to do for every video for the future of the channel, so it's definitely worth it. Anyway, if you want any of those perks like getting the Q&A videos or getting to name my items, look into supporting the channel. I do appreciate that a whole lot. Now, to end off this video, let's talk about how the channel is doing. With the start of new snapshots, the YouTube channel has picked back up in speed, as it always does. We're now past 46,000 subs. I'm still really excited to hit 50,000. That feels like a, an incredible milestone and I hope we can get a bit of a boost to reach it quicker. We're also within a couple of months of hitting 10 million views on the channel, which is just a staggering number. The Twitch channel has been doing okay. Viewer counts have lowered some, which is natural, I suppose, as people go back to work and back to school and just overall have a busier time. I've also missed a few streams, which hasn't helped, especially with the whole finger incident. Still, things are doing fine there too. I don't need the channel to be growing at an explosive rate to enjoy hanging out with my viewers. And uh, I think we'll leave it there. This became far longer than I thought it would, but uh, for the few of you who managed to get all the way to this part of the video, thanks. <laughs> and thank you everyone for all the support. It does mean the world to me and this channel and the community would be nothing without all of you. Thank you. That's it. Sliced Lime out. <laughs>